Hi everyone, this is Deidre or D. Dee Omahen. I'm a realtor with Keller Williams Atlantic Partners. And I am interviewing Jessica Wick, who owns Brain Balance Center in Jacksonville. Thank you for joining me, Jessica. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Nice to see you. You're welcome. Nice to see you too. Do you want to tell our viewers a little bit about your company? Yeah, I'd love to. So I'm the owner of Brain Balance Center here in Jacksonville. We're located in Bartram Park Shopping Center, um, where the Coles is. I know many of us from oh, yeah. Nocatee uh, go over to Coles, <laughs> and uh, we work with kids that struggle. You know, uh, struggle with all types of things with uh, disorders such as ADHD, ADD dyslexia, autism, even Tourette's. And um, we just really come up with an individualized plan to kind of pinpoint the deficits. And then we target a um, action plan to refill in the gaps that were missed in neuro neurological development. Great, can you give me an example of some of the strategies that you would use? Yeah, so we do a full assessment. Um, that would be the first step. And we're really looking, uh, assessment is usually two hours long, so it's very extremely comprehensive. And we're looking at how all the processes, process departments in the brain function um, based on a functional score and even an age-based range in some instances. We're also looking to see how the brain is communicating, controlling the body in the sensory motor system. So once we find out those functionality-based ratios, we're able to kind of compile a plan specific to the child's needs on what levels and so on and so forth that we need to work with. Okay, great. And I'm curious what made you interested in this and inspired you to open it? That's a super easy question. Um, my son went through this program back in 2016 at this very same location. Um, we weren't the owners then, but our story made us want to do this with our lives, my husband and I. Um, we had tried everything with my child. He had sensory processing disorder. And uh, I have experience in behavioral therapy even before I had kids, that's what I did. And I knew something was kind of not connecting in him and something was off. I had explored everything, um, PT, OT, just every modality. Um, and I wasn't getting any answers. So. The last thing I tried was brain balance and I wish I had done it sooner because the results were life-changing. It changed my son. Wow. 360, um, he ended up passing kindergarten. He had his life back and I got to see who my child really was before all these struggles came up over him like a red haze almost. So um, it was inspiring and mind blowing and I knew that this is what I was meant to do. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's a wonderful story. Thanks. I think so too. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I, you are a Nocatee resident, correct? I am. Yes. So can you tell me a little bit about, you know, how long you've been there and what you like about Nocatee? Yes. So we've been for about five and a half years now, I think. Mm -hmm. um, I would never leave Nocatee. <laughs> it just... <laughs> I, we've moved around so much because of my husband's work and I'm so happy that we have our, we've landed here and we're never leaving. Um, it's perfect place to raise a family, just being able to get on our golf cart and go use all the amenities and just have a safe place to raise our children and have so many friends around. And it's just, you can't really compare it to anywhere else in this country. Yeah. So we're very lucky to, to be a part of our community. That's true. You can't really compare it to any other. <laughs> it's extremely <laughs> unique. That's why everybody wants to move here. Yes, for sure. I can see that. Yeah. So I did have one final question about your business. Um, what is something that people don't know about your business? That we do, we do see kids that, you know, you don't necessarily have to have a diagnosis here. Um, if you notice your kids struggling and really anything, it could be academics, it could be social issues, it could be, you know, coordination issues with sports, really any type of learning struggle is something that we can identify and actually fill in gaps that were missed in development. Um, so it's not just for your, I need a diagnosis to come here. We're more of a 
why is this happening to my child and what what was missed and what do I need to do to fix the problem? So we're really looking at a root cause of struggling in children and not just putting a Band-Aid on different modalities. Okay. Um, and how many staff do you have? I have about eight staff members. Um, they're wonderful. <laughs> um, in March, when I took over, I sort of, you know, took a deep look at our staff and I have some really great people here that all hold, you know, high level degrees and are all very energetic, motivating, and we positively reinforce our children. I mean, ask anybody that comes here, parent after parent is just so happy with the results and the way that we interact with the kids here. That's great. And it, everything is individual, not groups, right? Is it one-on-one? -on -one um, yeah, so we have one-on-one -on -one, um, for kids that need more extreme attention. Um, but typically speaking, our, you know, the way that we do programming is we'll do, we social distance, obviously, but we do have a coach that works with two, ki two kids at a time. And we do that because we want the rooms to be loud and engaging and noisy and bright because we're also working on some auditory issues that a lot of these kids have with overstimulation and so on and so forth. Um, research has just found that this is just way more effective when we have the true brain balance program. But we do offer some hybrid options, which means that you know, we do virtual sessions one-on-one, -on -one, just like we're doing right now. If people, you know, are more reserved at wanting to be at home from the pandemic, um, we've had a lot of success with that. We've had all the data come in now and it's proven to be just as effective as if they were coming to the center itself. So uh, we do have a lot of flexibility. We are all off also rolling out an adult program, which is huge. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I mean, I just, I've, suffer from anxiety my whole life. Um, so I cannot wait to kind of get to my root cause issues and address those and really, you know, make some huge, you know, pathways. So. Oh, oh that's, that's big news. Hot off we have a lot going on here. So. <laughs> Great. Well, thank you so much for your time and um, supporting children and families in the community. Of course. Right. My pleasure. All right. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate your time. You're welcome. Bye. Bye.